So there's a question here, I can't reach my masters, please help me to connect. Well, who else feels that they can't reach their masters? They can't, they're blocked in some way, okay? This is most likely to be caused by some mechanism that's been set up in your energy fields because of some past life trauma. And it's something we can look at tomorrow and help to work with. Uh, the other thing about connecting with the masters, this is the I spoke about before, is that we need to sit in the silence and we need to ask. Okay? The way I used to teach people how to channel, which is to connect with spirit or connect to the masters, is just to go into a, to shut the eyes, to go into a space of peace and love. And then I used to say, imagine that you are, as if we breath in, imagine that you're going up, almost like going up in an elevator and you're going up towards the light. We're not really going up towards the light because the light is flowing through us. But if you can imagine that you are going up in an elevator towards the light, you start to vibrate faster. And when you start to vibrate faster, you're con it's easier to connect with those energies, uh, which are also vibrating faster. So you just create peace and love. Just try that now. Shut your eyes. Just with your mind, create a state of peace and love. Is the highest state of peace and love that you can. And each, as you take a breath, imagine that you're going up in an elevator towards the light of spirit, the light of heaven, nirvana, whatever you want to call it, the light of God. So just feel yourself going upwards towards this light. And you might feel you have an affinity with a certain master. So as you get higher up with your consciousness, you start to vibrate faster, you might feel your body grow warm or tingling. This means that you're opening to higher dimensions. The first time you do this, you might like to see yourself standing in front of a beautiful golden gate, a doorway, beautiful golden doorway. And know that you can walk through this golden doorway into the light any time you choose. Merely by using your mind to visualize it. Know that beyond this golden doorway lies a world of love and light and peace. The world of many higher dimensional beings who are there to assist all of us on our journey. And as you stand in front of this golden doorway, imagine that you are opening this doorway and you're walking through. You're walking into a place of beautiful light and love. And as you walk into this light, imagine and know that there is a being, your special guide, who is coming forward to greet you now. Know that this beautiful being of light is there to guide you and show you the way and be like a bridge for you until you can do it yourself. Just see and feel this guide coming forward to greet you now. Maybe smiling. Standing before you. And just ask this being, whether you've met one or not, just imagine that there is one, because it's all in the imagining. Imagine that you have met this being, this master. Ask this being to help you every time you connect like this, to increase the connection between you, to increase your ability to connect with the information, to increase your ability to connect with the energy. 
to help you to be all that you can be, help you to walk your highest path of purpose, your highest vision of soul, to be the very best that you can be. And then just thank this being if you have seen a being, and if not, just know that there is one where, there, so thank them anyway. And come back into your body. Feel your energy come back into your body deliberately. Bring your energy back into your body. And imagine that you're coming down the elevator now. Pressed ground level. Coming down the elevator. Back into your normal consciousness, your normal way of being. Bringing from this experience everything that is positive and joyful for you. Leaving behind anything that is not. So, so that in a nutshell is how you channel. <laughs> and it's easy and we all can do it. And it's just a skill that you learn like learning to drive a car or ride a bike. It just takes a bit of practice. And when I, when I first met my guide, Balthazar, and I told you one of the three Magi, I practiced with Balthazar most days for a year before I connected with any other energies. And then I was opened up. So it's, a, it's faith and trust. After that, I was opened up into uh, other masters, the ascended masters and the members of the angelic kingdom. And then the final, and then people like Lord Melchizedek, Metatron, those types of beings, and then I started to be introduced to the star nations after that. So it's, it's a step-by-step -step process. But the guide, the master that usually comes to us first is usually one that we have a connection with from past life. They have an affinity with us. If you wish to call in someone that you feel really connected to, then all you need to do is ask. So when you get to that elevated state at the golden door, as you walk through the golden door, you just ask, to ask that master to come to you. That's all you do. Or you can ask for the highest level guide.